What's up? This we don't do intros like that. What's up everybody? So we're here on Table Rock Lake this morning. We've got some wind and some rain. I can see some water spots on the wind. So you're just gonna have to bear with us today because we're in the elements. Uh, maybe we'll throw in a few tips about how to, how to film in the rain or wind. But um, the intention of this video today is to talk about some items such as this and how I set up my camera on the boat, okay? In regards to GoPros. So how you self film on the boat, everything I use all the way from the camera to the battery, to the clamps, to the cords, Come with us, we're gonna show you how I set up my camera. Gotta get the storm arm on because it's rainy, it can pour on us at any point. So this will be fun. This is their lighter, lighter stuff, which I like for the summertime. We got our golf cart coming down to see if they can ticket us this morning. You know, these storm arc seats come in several colors too. This is the maroon. They've got a like a light blue, but I like that. They've got the wrist down here, so if it's really rainy, you tighten those up. It's nice, good, lightweight stuff. All right, come over my shoulder here. I'm going to show you my, my simple GoPro setup. We're going to parlay this a little bit with filming in the, filming in the rain. So, one thing, a Pelican case. This is a this is a uh, 1510 Pelican case. All right, this this thing is I could it could be pouring out there, and whatever we have in here is not going to get wet. So your first thing on a day like today is you got to have a way to keep your stuff out of the elements for when it does really rain. Okay, I'm going to show you two cameras. We've got Hero Seven Black, and we've got the Hero Four Black. You can see how beat up this camera is. It's missing corners. This is one of the best cameras GoPro made, in my opinion, okay? But I also have their brand new Hero 7 Black. Basically, you could be running with this almost, and it's dead still. So this is good for, you know, riding footage, stuff like that. But these little cameras here are hard to beat. So if you can pick up one of these on a budget, a GoPro Hero 4 Black on Amazon or eBay, I think you can get them for 150 This is a good little camera, okay? So you don't have to have the brand new one. That's the first thing. So what we're gonna do, we've got our cameras. All right, a must have external battery pack because that camera is only going to last you about an hour if you're running off a GoPro, GoPro battery on either one okay so battery pack make sure it's charged all the way this thing's old I've had it for four years it's got a solar charger which trickle charges a little bit but you don't really need it this thing will last you all day or most of the day I got another one too if I if I run out okay so we've got our cameras we've got our charger and then you need your cord to hook your external charger your external battery to your camera okay other than that, you're good. You need a micro SD. Um, in regards to the micro SDs, these new Hero 4 or Hero 7 Blacks, they record at like 4K 60. I mean, it's super high, so you can't just get away with using these silver cards anymore. See, these have these have um, these are Ultra Pluses 64s, but you really need the gold. Okay, so if you're having issues, one thing to keep track of is. Do a little research on what cards you need for that specific camera. The Hero 4 Black, the older one, you can get away with a, a less quality memory card. But when you're getting up into the 4K 60s and the higher frame rates, you want a nicer card, it could shut you down. Okay, so you may think it's your battery or whatever, it's your camera is shutting off because your card. We're gonna pop a card in these cameras and Sam's gonna get a little B-roll for you cameramen that are watching. You know, I'm talking about a lot of stuff and I'm pointing at a lot of stuff. The thing is, he's keeping the subject to focus on me because after we're done here we're going to cut away and he's going to get b-roll of all the stuff that we can overlay in the video edit so if you're a cameraman don't pan away from your subject that's talking that's a little tip for you cameraman another thing it's that's handy is get a memory card holder don't have these floating around you will lose them okay this is a b-way 
just got it on Amazon. Amazon's my friend in regards to pricing. Um, some of my nicer investments I get on B&H Photo just to have a trusted buyer. But those are two places I buy from Amazon and B&H Photo. I just popped my battery in the camera. One thing to remember too is pop in a fresh battery. This is um, this is 60%, so I'm gonna find one that's at 100%, all right? Um, that's one thing. Make sure you start with a full battery, even with your external backpack. And then number two is, is always format your memory cards when you start the day, because the worst thing you can do is get out there and start filming and realize you only have like 30 minutes to film, and you've got the previous full day you went fishing still on the card, and then you're stuck. You can't go back and delete. Um, there's ways maybe on some of these touch screens, but just format your card first all the time which also means when you're at your office, your home, and you're dumping your footage, make sure you dumped it before you come out because you're gonna format it, it's gone, okay? Always do a fresh format. Reset, format SD card, formatting. All right guys, here's what I like to use. There's a lot of ways you mount your cameras to your boat, but GoPro clamp, it is super tight. I mean, that thing can go on, in, you know, anywhere on your boat. You're gonna have a hard time knocking that off, okay? These can be bought individually. When you buy this clamp, it's gonna come with that only, okay? You can buy extra ones of these and shoot. You can run, I've seen guys run these three, you know, three high. Thing you gotta be careful about is these knuckles get loose. So as you're running, it can bounce down. And when it's got a camera on top, it can be top heavy. So you'll learn that some of these are really tight. Like this one up here is super tight. I can barely bend it. This one down here is super loose. So what I typically do is find the tight one and I put it in on the bottom. That's kind of an advanced tip I learned. So now this thing's super tight. And then I take the looser one, if I'm gonna use that one, and I put it up here so it turns easier with just the camera. So now the base is stronger, okay? But it's a GoPro, GoPro brand clamp, and I've got two extenders with the loose one on top, Then my GoPro goes right on here. So this is how we clamp them up. I'm probably gonna put it on the window today, and uh, we're gonna get to fishing. Guys, I, I've got to tell you, I've had nothing but troubles with Hero 7 GoPros. I'm putting, I'm taking off my Hero 7 right now that I just spent $400, $400 on and sent in to GoPro to send me a new one, thinking it was just a defect. It doesn't work. If you try to use an external battery, it doesn't work. I've tried multiple cords. I always go back to the Hero 4, old trusty. So I'm going to update you later on that. I'm going to call GoPro. I'm going to figure out why I can't record with the Hero 7 on an external battery pack. It's probably a simple answer. Somebody will probably comment first thing right away, same day, and tell me, oh, hey, idiot, this is why it's not working. But for now, I'm going back to the Hero 4 because I can plug it into the battery backpack and run it all day and forget about it. Big school of bass right here. I think it's a largemouth. Yeah, big school of largemouth out there busting. You don't see that very often. I mean, they are busted. And you could tell it wasn't white bass just by the way they they were eating it. Have the right bait tied on too for that situation. It's a Mega Bass Dog X Diamante. I always have one sitting this time of year on deck because you never know when that big school bass is going to fire up right there. 
We may be about to have some fun. <laughs> get my angler ant box out. Get my multi-tool. My dad needs to be up here catching them. That school's fired up. Your partner always needs to get up there and get on them. That's a big school of largemouth. Not a bad fish. You'll take that any day. And it's like he said, they could be 60 feet and just ran that bait ball way up to the top. And then, but one thing we know, there's a big school of bass right here. We just gotta figure out how to get them. You know, if you want to catch a six pounder, you got to throw what a six pounder eats. Let me see if we can't call a big great white up from the depths. This is a one ounce Mega Bass Eye Loud. Tail knocks, it's got a blade on the back, so it'll just really make a lot of noise. Hopefully, they'll see it and come up. One thing is, I'm always listening. So if I hear it, sometimes it's just a splash, but that's how you'll miss those busting bass because it's pretty rough out here and we could have easily missed that. So you listen and you hear that, you always need to check it out. Look, you kind of train your ear to hear that. You know, fishing will, te will teach you patience. Or, as I like to say, it will test your patience. Because it's not taught me patience yet, because I still am not patient. What I'm going to try to do right here is I got a channel swing off this big point, and I'm going to try to throw a top water over the top of there and see if we can pull up a fish or two. It's a little windy. I mean, conditions overcast, you know, should be right for it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> see what I'm saying? He knew I was going to bomb that gas. Do we see something? All yep. Yeah, see, Big Bass thinks that's a bluegill up there eating them. So it's, no, 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 no. I run the show around here. I'm the big boy. You don't be chasing, picking on people out here. That's my job. See if I can make this cast. I'll catch one. Oh, yeah. Tell me why. Tony, tell me why. Tell me why. Ain't, ain't nothing but a Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. All right, guys, so there it is. Gave you a few tips on how I mount my GoPro. Nice and simple. Uh, got out and did a little fishing, caught a few topwater school and bass. Uh, so, hey, that's a win this morning. Um, we're going to head back to the ramp, go back, dump this footage, start having Freddie scrub it, do some video editing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop us comments on what you want me to cover next. 
Um, I'm going to do another video on what, what I set my GoPro at in terms of settings, whether it be 4K, 1080, how many frame rates, uh, things such as that. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, and thanks for watching. See if I can make this castle. I'll catch one. Oh yeah. Tell me why. Somebody tell me why. Tell me why. Ain't, ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Ain't nothing but a mistake. I hope we never have to sing for a living.